Being the capital city of Hawaii, Honolulu never fails to marvel people with its vibrant culture and stunning scenery. From the bustling food scene to beautiful gardens to pristine beaches, this city is the perfect place for many people, including foodies, sunbathers, and surfers. In this video, you'll find the 10 best things to do in Honolulu to help you set up your next Hawaiian itinerary. 10. Ride Horses at Kualoa Beach This place covers over 4,000 acres of land, with lush forests and rolling hills within the area. One thing that makes this ranch iconic is that many Hollywood movies have been filmed at this location, which probably makes this place feel familiar when you visit it. Book a horseback riding at this ranch to enjoy the verdant scenery along the coastline of the Pacific Ocean. This activity is designed for riders of all experience levels, and the guide will take you to all the marvelous spots within the ranch's area. You should know that this one is a working cattle ranch, so you should not freak out when you see cows running around the green field. The horseback riding tour lasts around two hours, and you're given the freedom to explore the ranch at your own pace. 9. Storkel at San Suchi Beach Park If you're looking for a real hidden gem in Honolulu, then San Suchi Beach Park is the right place for you. It's tucked away at the end of Kapahulu Avenue, right after the Honolulu Zoo and just a few minutes walk from Waikiki Beach. The best place to snorkel at San Suchi Beach is the western part of the area. Even first-time snorkelers should not be too worried to get in the water because the waves are usually very calm. Simply put on your snorkeling kit and be prepared to meet a variety of marine life under the crystal clear ocean. Just remember that the parking lot of San Suchi Beach fills up quickly on weekends so unless you decide to arrive early, you may have to park on the street side and walk a few minutes to get to the seaside. 8. Hike Manoa Falls Manoa Falls is among the most visited hiking trails in Honolulu. People prefer this trail mainly because it's short and quick, making it possible even for kids and elders to get to the finish line. The trail starts with a wide path that gets narrower as you get deeper into the lush tropical forest. Not far into the trail, you'll have to go across a bridge, which will lead to the more challenging parts of the trails. Some sections of the trail are steep, but they should be passable by the majority of visitors. The trail spans about 0.8 miles, and it ends at the base of the dramatic waterfall. There, you can take photos and have a break while enjoying the one-of-a-kind scenery. 7. Relax at Lanikai Beach what makes a beach more suitable to relax at than the calm water and white sand that stretches for miles? These qualities make Lanikai Beach a favorite sunbathing spot for both tourists and locals. The Mokulua Islands are visible from this beach, and there are many palm trees that provide shade for the beachgoers. So if you need a few hours of basking under the Hawaiian sun, this beach is a must-visit for you. The only downside of going to Lanikai Beach is that there's no food stall nearby. For this reason, if you need something to fill up your stomach, you'll need to prepare it ahead. Typically, you'll not find a huge crowd at this place, and if you think you already had enough of the sunbathing session, feel free to pack up your things and explore the trails that'll take you to the Lanikai pillboxes. 6. Explore Makapu'u Point Lighthouse Trail Located on the southeastern coast of Oahu, this one is an iconic Honolulu hiking trail that spans about two and a half miles. It's suited for intermediate hikers, but newbies can also test their skills and see if they can get to the finish line on this one. What makes the Makapu'u Point Lighthouse Trail is that you'll find a well-maintained path along the way. If you need a few minutes of break or simply want to absorb the beauty of the scenery, benches are available every few hundred meters. Visiting this place is not hard at all. Simply stop your car at the parking lot near Kalani Nole Highway. From there, you can go up the paved trail that will gradually take you to the Makapu'u Lighthouse. 5. Watch shows at the Polynesian Cultural Center What presents the Aloha spirit better than a traditional Polynesian dance and fire show? Using fire-based props, the dancers and showmen at the Polynesian Cultural Center will awe you with their Hawaiian dances and songs. They do not only present Hawaiian dances, but other iconic shows from all over Polynesia as well, which include Tahiti, Samoa, Aitearoa, etc. Overall, this place is one of the best places to see some amazing performances. When possible, try to get yourself a ticket to the Watch Show, which will get you cheering and clapping immediately. Just know in advance that it can get crowded, and don't forget to get your camera ready because you'll want to capture the amazing moments. 4. Have fun at Hawaii Water Park This one's the perfect destination if you're looking to visit a place that's less natural but with the same thrills as hiking trails and beaches. 
Here you can spend all day trying a variety of slides and pools. Ask your travel buddy to take a leisurely float down the lazy river. Don't forget to try out the kamikaze slide, which will take you sliding down a 60-foot slope at velocities of up to 45 miles per hour. Don't worry about not being able to find something to eat because there's a wide range of eateries available at Hawaii Water Park. You'll easily find many fulfilling and energizing food items from ice creams to pizzas to burgers. 3. Kite Surf at Kailua Beach Do you want to take your surfing experience to a new level? If your answer is yes, then you should put kite surfing on your bucket list. There are several surfing schools at Kailua Beach that provide kite surfing courses, so it shouldn't be hard for you to find one. Many of the courses are designed for beginners, so having zero prior surfing experience shouldn't be a concern. These surfing schools also rent out kite surfing equipment, so you don't need to bring in on your own. What you need to keep in mind is that you might come into situations where it's not possible to do kite surfing because the recommended wind speed is under 20 knots. 2. People watch at Waikiki Beach If you're one of those who love to spend hours just sitting down and observing anyone that gets into their gaze, then you'll like this place. Waikiki Beach is a must-visit place for tourists visiting Honolulu, and this allows you to come across all sorts of people with their own interesting things here. Anyone from surfers to honeymooners to locals all gather at this place, which is why you'll never know what you might see at Waikiki Beach. Grab a drink, find a nice place to relax, and you might not realize many hours have passed by when you people watch here. 1. Do a Sunset Dinner Cruise There are not many things that can top the experience of enjoying a chef-prepared meal while calmly cruising over the Hawaiian water, Throughout the Sunset Cruise, you'll be presented with a one-of-a-kind view of Honolulu skyline and a five-star multi-course meal. If luck's on your side, you might even see a pack of dolphins swimming near the boat. The musicians on board will also sing love songs for you and your significant other, turning the already awesome experience into an unforgettable fun and romantic evening. There are some good options for a romantic cruise dinner, including ones from Majestic by Atlantis Cruises and Oahu Dinner Cruises. Some of them have live music by local musicians, while others feature fire shows and dance performances. The Takeaway Whether you want a relaxed vacation or an adrenaline-filled trip, Honolulu can provide you with the activities you need. There's something for everyone in this city, so you should not be worried about not finding an activity that suits your travel buddy. The city's relatively safe and there are many public amenities available, making it a great destination for a family trip. You can even think of Honolulu as a melting pot for many cultures where you can find food items and cultural events from all over the globe, including Japan, America, and Hawaii itself. Guys, let me know in the comments section which activity you enjoyed the most and why. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome updates.